How do you make a new gun video? Wait, what the hell? Where did my computer go? What the fuck? Your AK video was very offensive, so remove your computer. Can't make videos now, can you? The haters stole my computer, so I can't upload. You bastard. My homework folder, it's in there. There's two years worth of homework. It's like 500 gigs. All gone. What do I do now? Oh, wait a second. I've got my Indian friend who helped me download free games. He can help me track it down. Hello, this is Microsoft Tech Support. No, you're not. It's me. I need your help. Oh, sorry. I forgot to save you a number. How can I help you? Yeah, so someone stole my computer. I know you downloaded some uh, tracking devices when you helped me download MicroPower, so... Yeah, help me track it down. Let me use my level 9 technician skills so I can do the satellite. Found it. Your Apple computer is a 69. Hmm. My Indian friends say that so they're here, but I don't see anyone. They're probably hiding in the trees or something. Oh yeah, you're right. Huh. We've got two options here. Do we try and blend in or do we go Rambo? Mm, let me think about it. Oh, Gray, what have you done? Oh no, they're shooting. Hey boss, I probably shouldn't have done that. There's a lot of them. Yeah, you think? Man, if only we had more firepower. Oh, you know what? Give me a gun. You know what? You won't need this anyway. Anyway, see ya, be right back. There they go, torn to shreds. Here I come, homework folder. Sniper in the tree ahead, 12 o'clock. Oh, there goes the tree. I just want to say something about the intro before we start. So, um, I started trying to use After Effects for the smoke this time. It's my first time, so you know, don't be too harsh. I did not do FX for shell ejection because number one, I had like four days to make this video before, you know, New Year. Um, and, it, and also, I do not know how to do it well. And lastly, I just don't feel like it fits, you know, because I need, I wanted to show that the guns are still clearly cardboard. Um, secondly, I'm sorry for this taking so long. I just got busy with school since here, summer break starts in December, you know, Australia, weird. Uh, anyways, let's have a look at this thing that took me it's way too long to build. For those who do not know, the Stinger is a Browning 30 cal a m 2 converted into a handheld machine gun by a bunch of Americans during the war. Combining the stock of an M1 Garand, the sights to carry handle and bipod of a BAR, as shown in the intro, and some extra stuff welded or screwed on. I mostly used Forgotten Weapons video on a reproduction as a reference since I could not find detailed pictures of the original online and it's kinda a handmade one of a kind. Here's the Garant stock, nicely curved. Took me ages to make but only gets a short mention. Worth it. Down here is the trigger, the two pieces are separate but pulling the top pulls the bottom one as well. The spring is just to make it rebound better. Now we move on to the 30 cal browning machine gun. You can see the details, the pain of making the circles, and the detailed bottom. The bolt handle is connected to the bolt which is riding on a guide rod and spring that goes all the way into a tube which is now inside the stock like the real thing. The top cover has a latch that actually locks this time, and it opens just like this. This is what the inside looks like. You can see, this time, I did the detail on the top of the boat, unlike the 50 cal I made before. I also detailed the underside of the top cover because I don't know why. 
When I pull the boat handle, you can see the end of the barrel and the rails that the boat rides on. This is the ammo box. I, for the life of me, cannot find how the ammo box attaches to the gun, so I just came up with my own. It has this arm with these two tubes that go into two holes of the gun. Mmm, double penetration. If I could be bothered, I would have made a spring to like lock it in, but I'm lazy, and it took me three months of it. I cannot be bothered. I made 10 rounds of 30 out 6, and now I will spend two minutes ranting about the loading procedure of Browning machine guns. If you have seen my M2 Browning short, which got like 4 million views, you would have seen me only rack the thing once. I now know that I'm supposed to do it palm up, but there was at least a hundred comments saying how you're supposed to rack it twice. Here's the thing, it depends on where you put the belt. If you paid attention, you would have seen me put it in the middle of the tray, not the left side. It only requires one pull if you put it in the center. Normally, you would need to lift a thing on the belt to do this, but I was lazy to do it on the M2 boat. So what? Who cares, okay? This time I made a simplified version of it. If you put the round on the left side, you will need to pull the boat back twice. This saves time because it is too complicated on the real thing to perfectly align the cartridge with the boat by loading it in the middle, so you let the boat do the job for you. Think about it. The first pull brings the bullet, or the cartridge, to the center, aligning with the boat. And then the second pull brings the cartridge down to the barrel. If you load it in the center, it goes straight into the barrel. Pulling again will just eject it and then put a new one in. Also, in some cases where you can't open the top cover, you can put the belt at the very edge here and you have to rack it three times. Guess why? One, to bring it to the left position, then the second one to bring it to the middle position, and then the last one to chamber it. They do this if you're on a boat or a plane where you can't open it because either it's too shaky and dangerous or you just don't have space to open the top cover. I linked a video about this in the description, so if you don't believe me, go there. Like, like, use your brain, goddammit! Where else is the cartridge gonna go when it's at the middle, huh? What, it's gonna go inside the boat and get stored there? Why would he, why would Browning design it like that, huh? Why? Like, like, I'm so sick of these comments just saying, Oh, he didn't wreck it twice. Oh, he would have been dead if this was real because he only wrecked it once. Like, bro, no one cares. You're wrong. Shut up. Fuck you. I'm so sick of replying with the same thing again and again. I just don't reply anymore. But every time I see it still pop up like time and again, and it annoys me so much. It's frustrating and infuriating. I, uh, they all ain't no more. Rant over. Anyways. The belt stays up no matter where, put it left or center, like the real thing. By the way, there's no serial number on this, so here, have this as tradition. And now moving on, this is the very front of the body, you can see the barrel inside. This part was not fun to make at all. Now let's look at the BEL components. This is the bipod, nothing special, except, well, it's made better than my old one. <laughs> it is also chopped in half and welded on, on the real thing, hence you can see the messy glue on the edges. This is the carry handle, it's canted to one side, and it can support the weight of the gun. Now onto the sights, a standard BAR sights, nothing fancy except again, it's improved and better than the old one. This is adjustable, and this is how it lines up with the front sight. On to the barrel shroud, a total of 52 holes, 13 on each row, how fun! Very front here we have this fancy end with two hex nuts, fun! The thing that I hate most about making this thing is there's so many goddamn hex nuts. Like, why is there so many nuts? Why do you love nothing so much? Wait, Ayo. I end of video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Goodbye. You won't need this anyways. Wait, what? Anyways, be right back. Hey, See you ya. Put my fucking barrel on. Can you not, bro? What? Oh, are you filming? Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're filming. Oh, Hot, have hot sex with me, please, daddy. <laughs> I made 15 rounds, or 10 rounds. I don't know, forgot. Good good point, I need to remember. I can't, I need to count it now. You can see this time I did the detail on the top of the boat. Fuck.